Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today's video, I want to be showing you how to revive your very tired and nappy and disgusting wig. If you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Let's get to the video. When I first got her, I only did very minimal things. I didn't do a lot of things so that she can feel loved. <laughs> and so that she can look realistic and beautiful and the only thing I really did was trim her, uh, layer her, and all I did was just put the middle part in but I, what I didn't do is I didn't, you know, pluck the sides out, take out some of the thickness of it, I didn't, you know, thin it out on the, the edges or anything like that, I didn't do any of that, I just did the bare minimum. So now that I have the desire to do so. I'm like, you know what, let me just give her some love. And that's what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna wash her, deep, 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 condition her. <laughs> we're gonna deep condition her, and then we're gonna pluck out the sides and make it look less bulky. And we're just gonna add some more layers. So I just did the bare minimum, just to frame the face, you know, and maybe revive the curls or blow her out, who knows, but let's have some fun. Since this is, I think, I got it at the beauty store, so I don't know, supposedly it's human hair, but I highly doubt that. I believe that it is a blend. That's what I'm telling my mind, and uh, I'm gonna stick with it. So usually, this hair from the, the beauty store is a blend of human and synthetic, and I really don't know how much of what is what, but that's what I truly believe and what i'm going to be using is the keratin smooth by Tressa may the shampoo just to wash her up because i wore her a few times so she has a little bit of sweat and hairspray and makeup from putting it here she has a lot of stuff going on and i'm just gonna wash her up and this is a frizz it, it tames the frizz it detangles and makes it shiny and soft and it tames flyaways. So I'm gonna wash her with that and then I'm gonna leave her with a deep conditioner and I'm gonna leave it in, go to the gym, do my everyday, you know, routine and then I'm going to come back and wash this out and then just like, you know, give her some TLC because she needs it. So the deep conditioner that I'm going to be using is the olive oil deep conditioner by Palmer's. This is the best thing ever. It, it it's ugh, I can't even like talk about it enough. I literally give this packet like I give the information to everyone that I know, and it literally saved my hair. It made my hair so beautiful and so lustrous and shiny and not frizzy, and it's just a great buy. I wish that it came in like a like a tub that I can buy, but it only comes in the packets, which is okay. But we're going to use that, it's the best thing ever. Buy it, use it for your wigs, use it for yourself, get your life, and you'll be transformed. You'll be like, oh my gosh. And I'll be like, yes, I told you. You start off by wetting the hair with lukewarm water, really drench the hair, and then you take a really big dollop of shampoo of your choice. I chose this one because this hair is really frizzy. And I really rub the shampoo on the base of the wig because it, that's where, you know, my scalp is and the makeup is. So I really try to really rub all that soap in. I didn't want the middle part to get lost. So I, I you know, defined it and put it in its place. So I just am rinsing this wig off, really squeezing the soap in and getting it all clean. Rinse it again with lukewarm water. And then after you start rinsing, you squeeze all that out and then you go for round two. And then this time you focus it on the ends to really get all of that product out and really make the hair super clean. I just love how this hair is just so curly wring it out and then now you put the conditioner in right after this uh, I didn't show this in the video but I used the conditioner I showed you and the one that I'm squeezing on right now and then I used the conditioner of the shampoo 
And I mixed the two conditioners together because I wanted just extra frizz teaming and it just needed that. So I really put that in and then I just leave I left it there for a couple hours, went to the gym, and then I put it into a shower cap just so it doesn't look all messy. And as you can see it's still tangly because I didn't brush it before I washed it and conditioned it. And now I'm just gonna rinse this off with cold water, just so it can keep the shininess in the shininess in. Rinse it all out, wring it, and then after you rinse this out, you grab a t-shirt or something and just wring out that water and really dry it. You don't want to dry your hair, either your wigs or your natural hair, with a towel because that's what adds the breakage and the frizz and you don't want that. So really wring out all of that with the t-shirt and then you just place her onto the mannequin head adjust her and then pin her just so that she doesn't go anywhere pin her in the three directions the the two sides and then the middle so she doesn't go anywhere i'm putting this leave-in conditioner in and spraying her the whole entire thing and then i'm going to brush it it took me literally 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes just to brush out these stupid tangles it was terrible. I'm telling you, she she needed a lot of love. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of love. So I'm just combing that out. And then I finished combing the, all of the, the rest of the hair. And then after this, I'm just going to start plucking. The hair is so smooth now. I can't even deal. It's so beautiful. So when you pluck, you want to pluck in the direction of the hair. So that you don't put a hole in the lace and just pluck to make it look very natural. This is a very time consuming thing. I could have done more, but I got very annoyed and very tired of the tedious uh, motion of the plucking. So that's a start. You see how natural it's starting to look? So that's after and then that's before. You see how thick the hairline is? So that's the whole purpose of the plucking. I could pluck even more, but... I, I just didn't feel like it. So now I'm just cutting and layering. This is not how you really cut hair. I am not a professional yet. But the, again, this is just a wig. It, it doesn't even matter if it's like cut professionally, like the right way. Who cares? Just cut her, layer her to your liking. And I really liked how I ended up cutting this hair. So now I'm just adding even more layers and taking off the length and just really making her my own because all that hair, just that, that thick one length, it was just too much for me. So I'm making layers and I'm making it into like a, a V in the back and just keep adding layers because I want it to be very voluminous. Not full, like the like the density full. I just want like a lot of volume, especially when I curl the hair, just so it can like flow. I'm just checking to see all the hair and just making even more layers. And then that's how it came out. You see how it's like a little tapered, like a little V in a way. I love that hair, that hair um, shape of a cut. Now I'm just taking some heat protecting spray, spraying all of it over. Then I'm taking some kukui oil just for shine, spraying that all over, and then I'm going to brush the product into the hair and make sure that it's saturating every strand and not, you know, leaving some strands without the product because we're going to do some major heat. We're going to put some major heat onto this. That's how you say it. So you just section her off. And then you start blowing her out. I love blowing hair out and styling. It's just, ugh, it's exciting. When you're blowing out the hair, remember when you blow it out to seal the, the style, you would do the, the heat. And then when you're rolling or doing whatever you do, the, um, the blast of the cold air, just so that it can have that little flip at the end. And I'm showing you at the top, 
just so that you can see the layers. And I did the, the, the cold blast like that. And you see that little flip just so it can set. And then I'm going to do it again in the front. Hot air. Curl it. And then blast it with the cold air to really set it. And that's how you get that little curl at the end. So that's how it's looking. Look how lustrous and shiny she's looking. And that's just with a blowout. Yeah, it's a little fluffy and um, poofy. A little bit. But once you put like the flat iron over it, it'll be beautiful. So now I'm just taking the curling iron and flattening out the root of the strand. And I'm just going to do some loose curls. Curl her up. And then let her go into my hand. Squeeze it, blow it, and then place her down. And I just continue to do this for the rest of the strands. For this, I like to put the curls back so that when the wind blows, it, it, it's the hair is blowing away from the face. And I squeeze the hair and blow it just so that it can set. Remember, the cold, uh, the cold bursts of air is what sets the, the style in place. In this clip, I did the curls all one, one way. But after I did this, I did most of the curls one way. And then I did a few going towards the face so that I can have like a body and it could not be like this one big gigantic curl. I hate that look. And don't forget to scrunch and blow so that the curls can set. And I'm just brushing the curls through because I don't like those sweet 16 curls. I like them brushed out and voluminous. So I did half and half on her. Half of it is blown straight and then the other half is curled. So this is her curled and this is her straight. I'm sorry for the lighting. It's like really hard trying to like focus on something and then trying to record it at the same time. So bear with me. I'm still getting the hang of all of this. So I'm just going to put the, the little elastic band back. I'm going to pull it back of the wig back. I'm going to hook the clip in. Put this back. And align her. And I'm going to take the side clip. Ouch. And then clip all ouch off this back. Then that is that. So this is her blown out straight. Throw this curl back there. So this is her blown out straight. Super cute. I like that whole like really short ear and then like that little bit of long in the back. I like that look. I don't know if that's just me, but I don't care. <laughs> Let me put this back just a tiny bit more. It's still like really thick on the sides, but I don't know. It, I got so tired of just plucking and plucking and plucking. It just pissed me off. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just forget it. But look how cute she looks now. So that's the end of the video. See how now it's like a little bit meh. A little tiny bitty 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 bit better, you know? Like it's not so thick. But I got so tired of just plucking and plucking and plucking. I was like, I give up. So then I just started cutting and then I started styling. But this side I have to do more of. This is the side that I gave up on because I was like, this is taking so goddamn long. And then that's just I gotta glue her down. And the tracks start right here, so I can't really go plucking crazy on this side because the tracks start here and it's it's like a weird lace. So I don't know, but I'm gonna finish curling this hair and I'll see you.